Hello and welcome everyone. Let us continue solving grade 8 past paper. For today, the first question it says the following table is part of the function y equal to x cube. The table, what you see here, it is uh, cubic. Okay, so uh, 3.0, uh, 3.11, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, and 3.5. And after uh, 0, the other numbers are written. The first two digits, like before the point and after the point, are given. So what the approximate value of 3.47? We are asked to find 3.47 cube. Uh, this one, we don't have to like multiply 3.47 uh, three times. Instead, we'll, we'll read from the table. How to read? Uh, there is a systematic way of reading. First of all, uh, 3.4, you'll read from the column. And then you, you will move 7 units horizontally. So let's do that one. 3.4, as you see, it's found here. And 7 is here, the last digit. Therefore, try to observe horizontally, move and connect it. When you connect the two, go down. And here also, you need to move horizontally. Therefore, what is the intersection point? Where is the junction? It is 41.78. So the answer will be A. That's the way in case of uh, cubing. Uh, when you go to the next question, it says uh, what the approximate value of, again, cube root. This one is the reverse process, 34010. So again, we need to get back and uh, we have to see the table, 34010. Uh, when you see the table here, uh, there are numbers, but it's not like uh, big numbers are there. 27 point, 29 point, 32 point. Okay, only two digits before the point. After the point, there will be two digits, but before the point, there are two digits. All the numbers, what you see here. Therefore, we need to uh, write the number what's given here uh, in that form. So, 34, 0, 1, 0, 34, 0, 1, 0, is the same as 34.01 times 10 the power, if we can write it one two three three units i move okay because there is no point miss we need to count three units we are moving one two three we brought the point here so 10 the power of three we can write it so cube root of this number is the same as cube root of this number okay let's write it once again this is three four zero one zero is equal to Okay, therefore, this is also Q. This is equal to, we can decompose, because it is time. In case of times, uh, in, uh, either it is cube root or square root, we can decompose or we can break down. So it will be uh, cube root of 34.01. By the way, there is one zero at last, but you can ignore it because it doesn't matter. Uh, times uh, cube root of 10 Q. We separate now because it's time in case of times possible if it is plus or minus we can't now we can read this one from the table 34.01 let's get back and see 34.01 uh, where is it let's try to we need to search from the table because we are trying to find uh cube root it's not cubing cube root so we need to search the number from the table uh, 34.01 it's here as you see it's here okay 34.01 is here that means first we have to read horizontally what the horizontal 3.2 then vertically 4 so 3.24 this result is 3.24 times cube root of 10 cube is the same as 10 because the cube uh, the, the cube root and the cube will cancel each other so when you multiply the two the result will be uh, 32.4 finally the answer will be just be okay the next question the next question it says here let p equal to 2l plus 2w this is perimeter of a rectangle we can say this is a formula so the p value is given to you and the w also given then we are asked the l this is working working with variable units so let us substitute in place of p substitute this result so p is equal to 2l plus 2w that means p is equal to 2 in bracket l plus w we can write it in this form by the way because 2 to common we can take out 
Then in place of uh, P, write 40 because given to in bracket L value, we don't know, plus the W is given to you 5. Then you can divide both sides by 2. The reason uh, to simplify. Therefore, what's left here? L plus W left. So L plus W is equal to the other side was left. It's just to here. Uh, the W is 5 already here. Therefore, shift the 5 to the other side, so the length will be 15. It will be subtracted. You know, 5 when it go, it will be minus. 20 minus 5 will be 15. The next question, so the 15 is found uh, in C. When you go to the next, again, it is working with variable because substitution. A given, B given, and C given. And then we are asked to find what the value of 5, A plus 9, B plus 8, C, the whole over uh, A minus B plus C. Okay, let's check it once. Yeah, it should be uh, plus here. This is going to be plus. Okay, A plus B plus C. So let us substitute. So we are asked to find 5A plus 9B plus 8C, the whole over A plus B plus C. This is what we are looking for. And the, v, the A value is just 2 plus and the b value is 3 plus and the c value is 5 we substituted in place of a as you see 2 in place of b 3 in place of c 5 then the whole over a plus b plus c means 2 plus 3 plus 5 uh, which is 10 plus 27 plus 40 the whole over 10 you know when you add it, it's going to be 10 so add it uh, it will be 77. 77 over 10 means 7.7. So the answer is found in D. Next question, uh, the product. We are asked 2x plus 1 times x plus 5. Mostly students are doing like 2x first will multiply the bracket, the second bracket x plus 5 plus, because this is plus again, the 1 also will multiply the second bracket. This is mostly uh, students are applying and expanding then multiply 2x squared plus again 2x times 5 will be 10x plus 1 times x is just x plus 1 times 5 will be 5 then the like terms have these two so 2x squared plus 11x plus 5 will be the answer this is the way how mostly students are doing but you can multiply it in another way also how just for general knowledge 2x plus 1 and x plus 5 we need to multiply these two then 5 times 1, you know, it's 5, positive, and 5 times 2 will be 10x, done with 5. So I will go to the next one. So x plus 1 is x, I have to move one step, like multiplying a number. Then it's positive, and x times 2x will be 2x squared. Then we need to add vertically now. When you add it, 2x squared is alone, and 10x plus x will be 11x plus 5. Finally, the same answer. So the answer uh, is found in just a yeah the next question again it is linear uh, equation with one variable uh, but it has a denominator as you see the first denominator three here here four and here two but this one the denominator one so what are the LCM first we need to find the LCM of the denominators are three four and two the LCM of this number is uh, you can take it 12 so multiply each of them by 12 2 over 3x multiplied with 12 minus again uh, negative 3 minus x over 4 multiply with 12 again this one this is x is equal to negative 2 also multiply by 12 plus 3x minus 5 the whole over 2 will be multiplied by 12 now what the objective multiplying by 12 and finding the LCM and because to remove the denominator to remove the fraction fraction mostly uh, silly mistake may happen so by 3 1 this by 3 4 and 4 times 2 will be 8x minus it's minus here and by 4 1 this by 4 3 3 in bracket what left minus 3 minus x don't forget this negative take care common mistake and here multiply negative 24 here by 2 uh, this will be 6 so plus 6 in bracket 3x minus 5
ok now next step remove the bracket 8x uh, this negative negative will be plus 9 plus 3x again because still negative negative is equal to negative 24 plus 18x minus 13 to the left side uh, add these two 11x plus 9 is equal to to the right side 18x uh, minus 54 because both of them are negative negative 24 and negative 30 they will be added and the negative remain as it is and then collect bring the negative 24 here it will be uh, 63 it will be added with 9 when you bring the 54 and the 11 goes and subtracted it will be just 7x then divide both sides by 7 so the x value will be 9 so the answer is found in a okay next question inequality which one of the following which of the following is the solution set for the inequality 2 over 3 in bracket 6x minus 9 e plus 4 is greater than 5x plus 1 again there is denominator 3 multiply by 3 this one by 3 the whole multiplied by 3 again this 4 also will be multiplied by 3 and this the whole also will be multiplied by 3 because the denominator is only 3 there is no other denominator so when you do that the 3 cancel and what left 2 in bracket 6x minus 9 and the first left plus and 3 times 4 will be 12 is greater than the other side the 3 will multiply each of them 15x plus 3 because this 3 will multiply each of them then uh, remove the bracket 12x minus uh, 18 plus 12 is greater than 15x plus 3 then bring uh, okay let's finish it here 12x uh, minus 6 greater than 15x plus 3 therefore uh, bring the 15x to the left side let's do it here when you bring it it will be 12x minus 15x is greater than 3 plus 6 the difference is negative 3x is greater than 9 then divide by negative 3 both sides when you divide by negative 3 the inequality will change now so x is less than it will be and 9 over negative 3 you know will be uh, negative 3 so x is less than negative 3 so the answer will be found in D the next question if the slope of a line which passes through 2 comma k and 5 comma 4 is 4 there are two points and the line passes through these two and the slope is already given to you for so you can take this one as x1 y1 and the second point as x2 y2 slope of a line formula you know it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 uh, so using this formula in place of slope write 4 4 is equal to and y2 minus y1 means 4 minus k the whole over 5 minus 2 which is 4 is equal to 4 minus k over 3 this means over 1 crisscross now so when you multiply crisscross 4 times 3 will be 12 is equal to 4 minus k so bring the k and shift the 12 so k is equal to 4 minus 12 so the k value will be negative 8 so what the value of k it must be negative 8 the answer c the next question uh, what is the length of uh, x here is x there are two right angle triangle here the first one here down the second one is upper one both of them are right angle triangle here the right angle here that means the hypotenuse here it is for the lower triangle for the first triangle the two legs four and three are legs so we can take this one as a and we can find a a square is equal to three square plus four square because the a is the hypotenuse as you see this, this line is a hypotenuse it is found opposite to the 90 for the lower triangle so let me write it a properly this is a then uh, a square is equal to 9 plus 16 which is 25 when you add it so the a value is equal to 5 okay we are done now with the law for the lower triangle now when you go to for the upper triangle uh, now for the upper triangle the a already we got it just 5 now the 5 and the 8 are legs and the hypotenuse is the x because it's found opposite to the 90 so x square is equal to 5 square plus 8 square 25 plus 64 when you add them it will be uh, 89 that is x square so what's x put in the square root square root of 89 so the answer will be a 
The next question, which one of the following? Uh, in the following, in the triangle ABC, shown below, which one of the following is not true? Not true. Uh, what's given? This angle is given to you, and 90 degree here. So what is sine of 30, first of all? Because it's trigonometry this time. Sine means, you know, for this angle, remember, for this angle, the one which is found opposite is, this side is opposite side. And the hypotenuse is the longer one, obviously. And the one which is found nearby is adjacent side. So sine 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side is AC and the hypotenuse side is 24. We know this. But sine 30 is, you know, it's 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 is equal to AC over 24. So multiply crisscross. So it will be 2AC is equal to 24. Divide both sides by 2. So AC is equal to 12. The answer A is correct. Okay. Uh, what about when you come to... By the way, if this angle is 30, the remaining angle here will be 60 degrees. And it says here, C, sine A is equal to cos PS. Because 30 degree plus 60 degree uh, will give you 90 degree. That means if two angles are complementary, the sine and the cosine value are equal. That means sine 30 necessarily is equal to cosine 60. Because sine 30, you know, it's 1 over 2. And cosine 60 also 1 over 2. How do I know this 60? Because the total, the three angles together must be 180, you know. If one of the angle 90, the other two together must be 90. So I know this one is given to you 30. So the third angle here, it will be 60, necessarily. So that this also it is true. But which uh, answer is wrong? Definitely D, because AC, it is 12 already. D says AC is equal to, look, A and D are the same. It's talking about AC, but which AC is correct? The first one, we did it already. Uh, how to get the BC? To get BC, you can apply cosine 30. If you do cos 30, it's equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. You know, the adjacent side is BC, and the hypotenuse is 24. This one is, actually, we did, we got the answer already, but this one for knowledge, I'm doing it. So cosine 30 is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine 30, we know it's radical 3 over 2. These are special angles, 30 degree, uh, 45 degree, and 60 degree. Their sine, cosine, and tangent value will not be given. Okay, is equal to BC uh, over 24. So to get the BC crisscross, 2BC is equal to uh, 24 radical 3 when you multiply. Then divide both sides by 2, so BC value will be 12 radical 3. So that's correct also, uh, B. So the answer necessarily will be D. Um, so this is it. Uh, enough for today. I'll come back with another video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.